All right, change of plan. Um, that rattles, and when I'm driving, it already drives me insane. Drives. Um, <laughs> and I need two grown-ups to do this, because there's a bolt on the other side. These are just spinning. And this is not strong enough to do it. Um, and where that one's situated, you can't even get anything in there. So the only way to stop it Take is either go and buy some more tools Go and find a grown-up that can help. We'll just take the bulkhead out. So, bulkhead's got to go anyway. So let's take the bulkhead out. Right. It's a relatively relatively easy bulkhead to remove. All I've done is undone all the screws around it and taken off two of these fixing points, one from each side at the bottom. And then <clears throat> you have to get behind the seats. There's a row of, um, there's a row of bolts behind the seats here it's quite tricky to get to and then i tried to get it out but it wouldn't come out and i realized actually there's like a lip just under here or somewhere it feels like there was anyway when i kicked it it moved so i'm hoping now i can get it out some reason this side's difficult. Maybe this cover needs to come off. Whew. So it looks like there's a little plastic cover down there. And if I move it, it'll come off a little bit easier. So we'll try that as well. Yeah, so there's this little piece of plastic trim that goes down the bottom there. That was definitely holding it in place. Um, but still, it feels like there's something else. Just get everything out of the way just in case it does come out. So this side is definitely loose. And that's gonna come out of this side. I'm still catching. Just check there's no screws in. One screw left in. And obviously this is gonna be the screw that won't come out. Oh, it's a mess. What a nightmare. It's the only screw that's rounded off. Well, this one is completely covered in, how's it covered in? <clears throat> Cement by the looks of it. Well, at least it's probably just dirt. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a small drill bit, drill out the center where the, where the star key thing goes. And then what we'll then do is use a bigger one to get rid of it. see how much mess is down there a couple of lighters there for the smokers so just go straight through the center with this I must admit these drill bits do not like going through these little bolts so we'll move up to a bigger size now hopefully this will just go straight through Smaller one did it. It's hot. So if you ever get stuck, it's too hot to touch. If you ever get stuck with anything that won't come out, one of these screws or anything similar, just get a nice sharp drill bit, metal drill bit, and just go straight through the center. Right. I think we're done. Let's try again.
Right, well, I didn't want to take the uh, bulkhead out, but this thing is a nightmare. I needed two bolts, one each side, and there's no way I could have done it, so it's out now. You won't believe how much more space there is in this van compared to the last one. So even though it's the same width, even though there's still no space to sleep across wise, um, there's just tons more room. So we are going to seal off this um, bulkhead. So I'm going to put some timbers across here once I've cleaned it all up nicely. Um, and then create a frame. I'm going to put another single seat um, here. So there's a gap in the middle and then a little hatch to get through. All of it will be sellotapes. By the way, if you've noticed what my flies are undone, it's because the zip's broken. I haven't just forgotten. Um, yeah, so probably kind of like a little escape hatch here just to get through if there's any emergencies. And having a sellotapes bulkhead means that the entire van is covered in at least, at least 50 mil of insulation, um, which means it's gonna be totally warm. I'm having no windows on the side so the heat can't get out. I'm going to put some roof vents on. Um, depends on how much space I've got on top because I do want a lot of solar. Um, I am thinking about a skylight somewhere um, and a max air fan definitely because uh, obviously the van's bigger than the smaller van so I definitely need a, a powerful fan. Um, but yeah what I'm thinking of is uh, only to have the skylight in and then to look outside I'm actually just going to put a jacket on and go outside rather than just sit in a window and look outside. Um, so I'll have the natural light, uh, I'll have a monitor with the cameras up, etc. And yeah, that's what we're up to at the moment. Okay, uh, so we've got the bulkhead out because um, one of the most important things is sorting out Amika's bed, which is hopefully gonna go here above the cab. Um, so rather than start messing with everything, I'd rather see if that's possible, which I think it is. Um, and then, um, we can carry on with the rest of the stuff, but um, as usual, when you're building a van and you've never used the type of van before, everything's learning, so um, I need to get the floor out. Um, why am I taking the floor out? Oh yeah, so I can build, build, build the framework of the new wooden bulkhead. So that's what we're gonna try and do now. So just gonna stand over there, please. Let's see if we can get this up. I'm hoping it's Velcroed. Is Velcro. really want to keep this floor because it's solid it's absolutely solid and it's in really good condition might just need to take it out and give it a good clean maybe take this off and put something else something else down I'm not sure yet I'm not sure so that well, was easy we'll just do bits of uh, velcro one in the middle one down the side there's a few little rust patches that just need treating we can get that done and yeah, now we just need to clean the floor. Yep. Here's another washer for the bag. Disgusting. Right, let's get this out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably stick it at the side of the house for now. And um, yeah, get this floor cleaned. Right, let's do it. All right, floor up, floor cleaned. Well, not cleaned, swept. Um, now I'm going to get down and get on my hands and knees and see if there's any rust that needs treating. It doesn't look like there is any, to be fair. Um, but yeah, the floor should be done very soon. All right, um, so not much 
work done on the van today. I spent a lot of time doing all sorts of bits and bobs, but I did get some stuff done. So I've taken the floor out and give it a quick brush and clean. It does need a proper clean, like um, a chemical clean. There's a piece of wood falling over in the garage. Um, a chemical clean and um, then just treat any rust spots. But to be fair, <laughs> This, there's very very few bits of rust and I'm, I'm very lucky um the other thing i did was take the bulkhead out which you'll have seen already um so the plan here at the moment is basically to um sellotex the front of this i think um or possibly in between i'm not sure yet uh, and that will become a solid wall there a solid wall there i think the shower is going to be here um and then what i'm also doing is i'm building some um shelves here not a shelf a shelf here which is going to be where amika's bed is so all of this is going to come out and there will be a proper hatch there for it to get there but i've just done this to build it just for now just so i can get the level levels and angles and squares and all that sort of stuff right because <laughs> i'm rubbish at it um yeah all in all pretty good progress considering i only spent three or four hours on the van today um, but a lot of planning a lot of thinking because Ultimately, the main reason why we've got a bigger van, apart from storage space, is to get Amika's bed off the front seats and up. Um, obviously, when she is up, and we do get the board in here, it might come down a little bit more, but when we do get the board in here, it will have Celotex on the bottom. So it'll be Celotex on the bottom, Celotex on here, um, and then obviously all around the top of the van will be insulated as well. So we'll be in a fully insulated cab. It's gonna be absolutely epic. I'm also looking at some other type of insulation as well, which is not a sound deadening that you think of that you stick on to stop the panels vibrating, but actual soundproofing of the van. Um, so it's like um, foam type stuff. So hopefully it's very, very expensive. It's probably gonna cost me about 500 pounds for that stuff. Um, but it, what it will mean is, is it is deadly quiet inside the van. So um, that's what I want. So hopefully I can get that done as well. That'll be nice um so yeah right i'm gonna get in the car it's uh office work week this week so i need to get down to sheffield and chesterfield so i'm going down to castleton tonight um meeting up with one of my friends so stay tuned and uh you'll see who it is what do you think about the hair guys <laughs> it's getting long i'm gonna grow it beautiful peak district so I arrived quite late last night so Andy and Lindsay were pretty much in their bed so Andy popped out for a few minutes just for a quick chat and then we called it a night and I drank two beers and I feel like crap this morning so they're part behind us now we're all planning on leaving um, about the same time they're going up to the peak district no they're not they're going up to the lake district to meet up with Neil and Emma and Paul and all them lot that are up at uh, one of the campsites and I'm going to work so yeah I'm down here tonight and then last night tomorrow night um, not sure I'm gonna stay a couple of squirrels down there look. been watching them out the window for half an hour backwards and forwards yes yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing where I'm gonna stay tonight probably closer to Sheffield there's actually a little um, a little park up in between Sheffield and Chesterfield on the beach, um, which is ah good morning. <laughs> morning, morning. <laughs> so I was just a mouthful of black toothpaste. Black toothpaste. Oh, is it carbon one? Is it? Charcoal one. Charcoal, not carbon. <laughs> <laughs> Same stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, I was just doing a quick morning vlog, just saying that we we met up, but it was late, mm. and you were going that way. Yeah, what's happening with the weather? <laughs> it's quite nice though. It is nice. Yeah. So I think I'm going to join you guys and brush my teeth as well. I'm having a bowl of coffee this morning. A bowl. A bowl of coffee. 
Why do you think? Yeah, I'm going to cut. Yeah. Do you look up? That's right. Mm. So, yeah, that's just where it where it senses yeah, the temperature from. Yeah. yeah, I see. You just sort of hang it. I suppose you probably. Is it open? To, no, no, that's yeah. it. It's just like a little module, yeah. and then. Look at me trying to pull it apart. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it? yeah. So I've just like I'm testing. So I've got one in the front room, one in the fridge. Oh, yeah. Obviously they're Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi, so I can't see those ones now. But you can see the one that's in the van. So it'll sync that now. So just casually getting myself ready this morning <clears throat> Pretty tired um, And yeah, just open the door just to have a quick look outside um, Not really paying much attention to what's going on outside just getting myself ready And this is a cloud inversion <sighs> All across the valley I didn't bring my drone with me. Um, didn't plan on bringing it with me because I'm with work, but I wish I had now. Starting to look a mess again. <laughs> right, quick update. So, slowly run out of uh, time this evening now, it's getting late, but um, this evening, um, managed to get the battens in. Uh, the other day, which I haven't captured on video yet, is we cleaned the floor, got rid of any rust spots, uh, filled in any holes with, um, kind of sick of flex actually did that bit today. Um, got the battens in, so I've got some treated battens, um, so obviously they won't rot, well hopefully they won't rot. Um, <clears throat> so we've got them down, um, I'm now putting the, uh, what's it called, insulation in. So the battens are 25mm, so they are sitting proud of the floor uh, on the ridges, but it's just so much easier rather than getting different sizes and trying to get them in all the different grooves because there's lots of different different sizes so ultimately this is the outer barrier and then obviously the insulation will act as the inner barrier um, and then we'll tape up all the all the battens on the floor and uh, make sure that obviously there's no no water that can get through or any sort of little drafts that can get through so i'm hoping that i can get the floor done today and maybe even a couple of boards up on the um on the bulkhead as well which would be good then most of the van is then insulated um yeah, making good progress. So, uh, so what is it? Day one, day two, 
an evening to two and a half days not even a half day really just an evening so yeah we're making good progress but i don't know if i'm going to get this done um i'd like to get the floor done by tonight that'd be good and at least it's one job done uh but yeah let's video in let's get on with it Hopefully they're still enough light. Um, I've now cut the panels or the Celotex for the bulkhead and uh, yeah, let's see if we can get it to fit. So there we have it, 50 mil Celotex bulkhead now in place. Obviously I've got to fix it properly. It's not fixed in yet. Um, and there will be at some point where these two beams are here, an emergency escape hatch, which will remain Salatex. Um, and we'll probably sit in place with Velcro. So if there is an emergency and we do need to get out, we just pull the Velcro off and the hatch will become free. Um, then we can get through. Um, Amika's bed, obviously, as we initially planned, is gonna go up here. Uh, these two supports will come out. They were just there just to help build the structure. So I'm going to put a nice um, support beam across there. I've already got some um, sort of stabilizing things in here. I'm probably going to take them off. They're not very big. I've got some better wood uh, that I'm going to put in there. Some nice little strong uh, timbers. And then we'll probably run one across the bottom. And then we're going to use 25 mil or maybe even 50 mil cell text. Depends how much room I've got in the cab um, to insulate the bottom of it. So by the time we've done the bulkhead, the shelf, the um, closed cell foam across the top of there, uh, the ceiling, the walls, basically every part of the cab is going to have have 50 mil insulation and including the rear doors as well. Um, and then we're going to line the entire thing with closed cell foam. Closed cell foam pretty much has about three times the insulation properties of one of these. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not an expert, so don't take my word for that. Um, but I will double check that, um, which means that I'll put, pop the heater on in here and it, I probably need it on for about five minutes and then turn it off and it will remain warm for a very, very long time. This this is likely to be one of the most insulated <laughs> fans on planet Earth. Um, yeah, so there we go. So that's where we're up to at the moment. I'm just going to tidy up now. It's too late to continue. Uh, I've been going like this all evening now, so we're losing light quickly. Um, but yeah. Huge fast progress, absolutely flying through this now. Um, having done a van build before, it's so much quicker this time around. There's, there's no sitting around and planning, you just know what you're doing, um, or at least have a, a better idea than the first time around. So, yeah, looking forward to getting Amika's uh, shelf in there and sorting all that cab area. That's going to be a technical part, there's going to be a lot of thinking and planning behind that. Might wait till the weekend for that because uh, there's just not enough time in the evenings. Um, but yeah, huge, huge progress. It looks like I've done a lot today, so I'm really happy with that. Yeah, we just need to get these things insulated. I've got some uh, expanding foam coming, so I'll be using that to do uh, to get that done. Well, making use of the LEDs that came with the van. So the bulkhead's not being fixed at the moment, but it's there in place just to work from really. I have lost a little bit of space. I've probably lost about, well, I've definitely lost 50 mil. Um, 
I could have done is cut the boards and put it inside of the timbers, uh, but the timbers are 25 mil. So I could get some 50 mil timbers, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. The less cuts in it, the better. So now taking up the floor. So that's the job we're on now. And uh, yeah, should be done within the next 10 minutes. Which obviously means 30 minutes. This evening's activities are expanded barn. Now this is satisfying, but it does not make a mess. So let's get on with it. Oh, 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 oh,